Hey guys, it's Mackie Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. Today's episode, we're taking it back to another Crafting with Kinsey, and in this episode, we are going to be making a DIY treat container. I am guilty right now. My tack box is pretty unorganized, and I really needed a treat container that opened from the top, and it's sealed to keep my treats nice and fresh, so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to film another Crafting with Kinsey video so um let's jump into the supplies Alrighty, so the first step that I'm going to do is do my base layer on the top. I know I want my base layer to be white, so um, as I mentioned in the supplies, I picked up a couple of white satin acrylic paints, so I'm going to go ahead and paint the entire top white. Alrighty, so I'm gonna set this down to dry for several minutes and then I will come in with a second coat of white. So now that the first coat is a little bit drier, I'm gonna come back in with a second coat of white just to try to really whiten up this um, top. And just like before, I'm gonna let this base layer sit out to dry for a couple more minutes before we get started on the design of what we're gonna put on our tree container. I waited for the paint to dry and now I'm just gonna come in with my Expo marker and I'm gonna trace out the outline of what I want it to say on the um, lid. So I think I'm gonna have it say treat box. So I'm gonna kind of write out a general outline of how I want that in my expo. Okay, so I kind of messed up a little bit, but this is what I ended up with. And now I'm just gonna go in with the black paint and I'm gonna kind of trace over this the best I can. Also, it's worth mentioning that I have a picture of like kind of what I want the font to look like. So I'm gonna, gonna try to copy that the best that I can. So to start with, I'm coming in with a fairly um, thin brush just because I don't really know 
how everything is gonna kind of play out yet. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry before I kind of make any more so edit, so to speak, to it and come back to it. All right, here, so we're coming back day two. Um, I made just a smidgen of progress. So what I'm going through and doing now is I'm tracing where I wrote treat box with a bronze Sharpie and I'm kind of making like it so it has just like a nice thick outline. All right, so I went ahead and I finished the outline of that. Well, at least the outline the first time. So now that I finished the Sharpie outline, I'm gonna come in again with this um, steel colored paint and fill in the areas that I kind of messed up on. All right, so I got a smidge done off camera last night, but we're here again. What is this? Maybe day three. And I thought I would go ahead and come in with another coat of Mod Podge. Um, I added some Sharpie outline around the carrots and just some, you know, little details to make them look carrot-like. 
And yeah, I'm gonna add just one more layer of Mod Podge so this is really nice and durable and secure in the barn. All right, time to let this dry. All right, so now we've come back. The Mod Podge is dried on the top, so we're done with this piece. Um, I will say that the Sharpie kind of faded weird, but it's all right. I'm still really liking the vibes. I'm still really liking how it came out, and it feels nice and durable. So we're gonna come back in with our bottom piece, and we're gonna add just a little pizzazz to finish it. So we have the bottom of our container. And I came in with this just like spare piece of fabric that I have. And I'm gonna stuff the container with the fabric like so until there's just a little bit of fabric left on each edge. there. Now the last step, as you can imagine, is adding the treats to the treat box. These are Ruthie's absolute freaking favorite, the German horse muffins. So I'm going to go ahead and pour them into our newly completed treat box. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm kind of really liking the look that the pink is giving it. And then let's seal her up. Perfectly secure. So there you have it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Crafting with Kinsey where we made our very own treat box DIY version. I have so much fun making this craft with you guys. Although it's not perfect, I absolutely love it. And I love that it opens from the top so that it'll fit perfectly in my tack box. Please comment down below if you ended up trying to make a treat box of your own. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. I have a bunch of new and exciting content coming out on there. And if you're not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. And follow me out on my Instagram, which is at McKenzieK underscore equestrian. I would love to see some of you guys out there and chat with y'all over there. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Can't wait to see y'all in my next video. Love y'all. Bye.